Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi. I'm a licensed therapist and on this channel, my motto is laugh through the crap that's holding you back. All right, <laughs> so I'll do my best to make you laugh. I may or may not be successful, but I try. And today I'm gonna be talking about the victim mindset. Signs that you or someone you love is suffering from a bad case of the woe is me. And what to do about it? All while I do a dramatic eye look, you know, because drama. Right then, moving on. All right, let's make some magic happen. Let's do this. So signs that you or someone you know might be suffering or causing other people to suffer from the victim mindset, also known as a victim complex. All right. Using absolute statements, always, never. Things never go my way, this always happens to me, yada yada. Another sign is that you might respond to criticism, even if it's constructive, with anger and resentment because you feel that nothing ever goes your way. I'm sure you can guess why this is a problem because you're smart. It interferes with your relationships, how you feel about yourself, your performance at work or school, all the things. So it's important to learn how to challenge it, but you can't challenge it until you know what's going on. And if not, you may not go anywhere. You know, you just might be stuck going nowhere and that's just no fun. Nobody wants to go nowhere unless you're a nowhere man. He's a real nowhere man. Sitting in his nowhere land. It's a Beatles song, okay? Look it up. Making all his nowhere plans for nobody. Another sign is saying things like, oh, why should I bother? Nothing ever works out for me anyway. If you are in this mindset, you might avoid taking responsibility for things. Again, leading you nowhere. Okay. Another key sign is a sense of feeling powerless constantly. You don't see any choice to fix your situation. It's really difficult to see your choices if you're constantly blaming others and looking at things in absolutes. You might also have a tendency to have self-fulfilling prophecies. If you believe something is a thing long enough, then sometimes it happens. And relationships, for instance, always being the victim, blaming the other person, saying things like, you're gonna leave me anyway, blah, 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 what was me? And then that person does finally get tired of it and does leave, all right, so don't do that. That self-sabotage and negative self-talk, guess what, impacts your feelings of worth and value and your confidence. So you're more likely to feel like you can't do something, which leaves you going nowhere, all right. He's a real nowhere man. Sitting in his nowhere land, making all his nowhere plans for nobody. Also, you might have a tendency not to be happy for others or feign happiness, you know. Oh, I'm so happy for you. And then inside you're resentful, angry, jealous because you can't get those things, likely because of all the aforementioned things that I mentioned. As a result, you might easily become depressed, isolate yourself and have anger outbursts. So it's basically just drama, drama, drama. All right, so I'll give you another example of what it might look like, we'll say at work. If someone gets passed up for a promotion at work and that person that has a victim mentality had been working there longer. Their immediate response is gonna be like, this always happens, this isn't fair, yada, yada, yada. No one cares about me, no one appreciates me, you know. So this would be their automatic response rather than doing some self-reflection and maybe owning their BS. Like perhaps they didn't bother to go above and beyond or demonstrate ambition because they already have that why bother attitude. Nobody's gonna notice kind of thing. All right, now I'm not saying this is the case for every situation, it's just an example. All right, so calm down. They make it look so easy on videos. I just, ow. All right, this is a hot mess, but I'm trying. I'm just gonna keep going. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna learn from my mistakes, which is something I would encourage you to also do or encourage other people to do. Oh, which I forgot to mention, you might live in regret, all right? Rather than taking something and learning from it, you might have a tendency to just, you know, beat yourself up. All right, so don't do that. So is any of this ringing a bell to you, either with you or someone you know? If so, what you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you some tips. All right, so don't go anywhere. Stay put. 
but before I go on, if you are liking this content so far and you're finding it somewhat helpful, maybe a little entertaining, well, let me know, okay? This is really not turning out like I wanted it to, but it's all right, it's my fault, I didn't practice. I need more drama. I mean, you know, dramatic eye look, I mean. All right, so what can you do about it? One of the first things you can do is be honest with yourself. Do you have a tendency not to take responsibility for things or have a tendency to blame others for your behavior? All right, so like if you fly off the deep end, you're like, well, if you hadn't have done that, then I wouldn't have responded this way. All right, yeah, that's not cool. Now, if you're looking back and listening to stuff, you're like, okay, yeah, I'm being honest with myself. I tend to have that kind of perspective. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is commit to changing that mindset, all right? You're not gonna get anywhere if you don't commit to it. You know, just think about it. Another thing is accept that your actions have consequences. So taking your power back from the world and situation of other people by recognizing that you do have a choice. Now, whether or not you see that choice is entirely up to you. And if you need help with that. Another thing is to learn to change your language. Right? Get rid of those absolute statements. Always and never. It's gonna get you in trouble. So don't do that. Try to see the gray area. Try to get out of that black and white thinking. It's not gonna help anybody. Don't do that. Another thing you want to work on is try to build your confidence by setting some tangible goals that you will succeed in. All right, doesn't matter how big or small it is, but you have to learn how to build your confidence so that you can begin to reprogram your faulty thinking. All right, and then beyond that, you have to acknowledge when you have been successful. You know, don't dismiss it. You gotta acknowledge it and reinforce it so that you're building your confidence. Another important step is to seek closure when possible. When you've been hurt, or maybe when you've made bad decisions, you know, you gotta give yourself closure for that by accepting it and forgiving yourself. Because holding on to that stuff's not gonna be helpful, all right? It's just gonna contribute to feeling angry and resentful and all things. And as uncomfortable as it is, you gotta learn to own your shit, all right? I know it's uncomfortable. Nobody likes being wrong, making mistakes. You know, it feels pretty crappy when we're pretty crappy or we do something that we're not proud of, all right? But learn from it, make changes. So another thing to keep in mind, and I say this a lot, is take a look at who you're surrounding yourself with, all right? Are, are you surrounding yourself with a bunch of negative Nancy's? Well, that's not gonna help you, you know, see yourself as someone who has a choice in life and not a victim, okay? Because people like that are always victims. So, you know, look around. And as long as you are in that kind of environment, you're gonna be going nowhere, fast. So. Learn to set your environment for success, meaning surround yourself with healthy people, maybe writing down your goals where you can see them, acknowledging your progress, you know, what I mentioned already before. <sighs> I hate it. Also another thing to keep in mind is that if we're surrounding ourselves with negative Nancy's, you know, we might have problems saying no, for instance, or setting healthy boundaries because they might have a tendency to manipulate us. Right? And so we give in and then guess what? We get pissed off, resentful, don't think. So that's real important, don't miss that one. I will also suggest, highly suggest, is taking a good long hard look at what your strengths are, all right? Oftentimes if you suffer from this kind of mentality, you're not even aware of your strengths or you might minimize them or dismiss them. So take a look at that and give yourself credit for those. Also, it's okay if you feel hurt or disappointed or let down. You've gotta learn how to validate your feelings, but also understand that they're not always true, okay? So in some cases, yes, people can be a victim of something awful, but there can be other situations that they're in where they might just feel like a victim, but they're not. Also, get involved with helping others. That can also be very helpful in getting us out of that mindset. It can also help you see what you have to be grateful for, okay? So do that. Now, if you recognize that you feel hopeless or powerless a lot of the times, look for areas that you do have control over, no matter how big or small. You know, choices you have to eat, for instance, where you go, all the things. If you don't learn how to do all these things, you're gonna go nowhere, and you don't want that, all right? Almost there. I'm gonna finish my lips off camera because I can't talk and do it because I always mess up. So don't go anywhere. Stay put. 
I remembered there was one more thing I wanted to tell you guys. If you are recognizing that someone you care about is demonstrating some of these signs, first of all, encourage them to seek help. Second of all, be mindful and firm with your boundaries. People that have a tendency to play the victim or be stuck in that mentality and can make us feel like we don't have a choice but to help them and feel very manipulated to rescuing them, if you will, okay? You can offer validation and encouragement in their efforts to work on goals or to better themselves. But again, don't take too much on, that's not yours. All right, well, I certainly hope you found this helpful today and somewhat entertaining, even though I was a hot mess. And if you did and you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. Oh, the drama.